Hey guys, it's Miss Allen. We are going to draw a parade of sea turtles. Now, some of you know this because I've talked about it in my class, but sea turtles are my favorite animal. So we are gonna do, I'm gonna make three sea turtles that are walking up my picture. Now, I'm gonna be using a Sharpie today. Remember, I'm okay with you using anything else. If you have a pencil, I would love for you to use a pencil so if we mess up, we can erase. But I'm gonna do a Sharpie so you can see it and I want you to follow along. If you have a piece of paper, that's great. If you don't have paper, napkins, paper towels, if, if, you, if mom's okay with you using them, you can draw on those. But, um, and I mentioned this in my last video, but if you would like to share your work with me, my email is down in the description and I would love for your parents to send a picture of it to me and that would be really great. I can't wait to see what some of you are drawing. Um, but let's get started. So I'm going to do three simple sea turtles that are crawling up my page, okay? So let's start with circles. I don't want no itty bitty sea turtles. Even if they're babies, when we draw them, I want them to be pretty big. But I also don't want them to be all in one line. You can do that if you want to, but I'm going to spread mine out so that they are not they're just a little bit more fun in my opinion if they spread out a little bit so I'm gonna make three circles one two Ooh, that one got a little crooked and three so now I've got three circles and notice this one's a little crooked. That's why I wanted you to use those pencils. So if you mess up like me, you can just start over, but I, it's not a big deal. What's mattering right now is that you guys are practicing with me and that we're gonna get through this together. So I have my sea, sea turtles already starting their parade, but this is only a circle. Let's go ahead and add his head for each one. So at the top, I'm just gonna make a little rainbow line, little half circle that pokes above the circle I've already drawn, just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put two eyes. Our sea turtles have two eyes. I'm not gonna see its mouth because we're looking down at the sea turtles, but I can see its eyes. So two eyes on each sea turtle. All right, we got two eyes on our sea turtles. Let's go ahead and do some flippers. Now, if this shape's too hard for you, you can always just repeat this shape. It'll be a cute little circly turtle. But I'm gonna try to make a pointed flipper for mine. Not too hard, but a little different. I want you to watch. I'm gonna start on the shell, okay? And I'm gonna go out, go to a point, and then I'm gonna curve it back in. So it has a point on it instead of just a circle. But I'll do four. One, two, three, four. And each of my turtles needs four flippers. So one, two, three, All right, one more. One, two, three, and four. Now, I can't have a turtle without a tail. So I'm gonna put a small triangle tail on each of my turtles between these two back legs. So right here, one, two, and if you look closely, that's just the letter V. I called it a triangle earlier, but if you think about it, just start on the shell, make a V, and connect back to the shell. Now, this is where you get to make it a little bit different. I'm going to do the designs on the back of the shell. When I do my designs, I like to do a shape in the middle and then make lines coming off of it. So I'm gonna do a real simple circle or an oval, 
But if you want to do a different shade, a heart, a star, something else, maybe even a letter, a bubble letter, if you guys are good at those, then you can do that. Um, I'm just going to do circles because I feel like being nice to myself today and being easy. So I'm going to do a circle in all of my turtle shells. And look, they look like turtle donuts right now. That's pretty funny. They do look like donuts. Um, but then I'm going to draw lines coming off of this, kind of like a sun, okay? Like a sun ray. Think of it that way. Um, but I'm going to start giving my turtles lines that go around the shell. And that's going to be my turtles, guys. And I know that shell got a little silly, but remember, we were trying to do cartoon sea turtles today. So if it's not the realistic sea turtle that you want, you can always try to find another video. Um, if Even if it's not by me, try to find another video to how to draw a realistic sea turtle. But I just want some cute ones that are walking. Now, I left nothing in the background here. So if you want to add a background, maybe you have the ocean up here that the sea turtles are trying to get to. Maybe you add little sea turtles all around them. Um, seashells, if you want to make it like a beach, or even if you just want to color it and make it super pretty, that would be great. Um, like I said, I'd love to see your drawings. If you want to share them with me, that's great. Again, that email is going to be down in the bottom of the description, but feel free just to draw to your heart's content um and i will hopefully see you guys soon bye so i have my turtles here and i'm gonna be breaking into my crayola box to start coloring them i have a feeling i'm gonna do cool color turtles and then i'm gonna do something really funky in the background probably a lot of warm colors and um might try to make it look like ripples coming out from the turtle, but so let's see how it goes. So I've started coloring and you can see I've done each turtle in a different cool color. I did greens with some slight bluish greens for the first one. I did blues with a mixture of some more greens and some more purple blues. And then I finished my turtle down here with purples and some mixtures of some indigo, which we know is a mixture of blue and purple or violet. And now I've started the background and I talked a little bit about ripples. So I wanted to go into that a little more. Uh, these are the crayons I'm using right now and I've ordered them from lightest yellow that I've got and they're going to gradually fade to red and looking at my picture now I'm probably going to have to add some pinks and purples into the end but I'm going to try to make sure they're warm purples so more on the red side of a purple but I'm making these ripples and I stopped right here and I'm still going with this orange color um but I did my lightest color and I've been adding rings of that color as they go out. Um, and once they hit another turtle's ring, it becomes the same shape. So once the, this um, yellowish orange color touched, it became one big shape. So now, instead of rings around each turtle, I'm making rings around all of the turtles together, like one big continuous shape. Um, I'm gonna show you this when I'm done. So I did end up having to add a lot more colors. I think I stopped there in the video I first showed you and then I just went back into my crayons and added colors getting more closer to the purple. Now you can see the final piece and I, I like it. Um, it's really important that your 
uh, taking your time with this one because this did take me a, quite a bit, but it looks so cool if it's done right. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you later.